Trigonelline, which is also known as 1-methylnicotinic acid, increases NAD levels in mice. And if you missed that video, it'll be in the right corner. But what about in people? Can dietary trigonelline increase NAD in people? So for today's video, we'll take a look at foods that could increase NAD, including chickpeas. So why chickpeas? Chickpeas contain trigonelline, 350 micrograms per gram or 0.35 milligrams per gram. So with that in mind, for 27 days before testing NAD levels, I added chickpeas into the diet, an average of 69 grams per day, and that's the dry weight, which yields a trigonelline content daily intake of 24 milligrams per day when multiplying 69 by 0.35 milligrams per gram. But note that one of the foods that I took out, steel-cut oats, also contains some amount of trigonelline, albeit not as much as chickpeas. So when subtracting the amount that's found in oats at the higher level, oats can have between 0.1 and 0.2 milligrams per gram of trigonelline, and I covered that in an earlier video. So when subtracting out 7 milligrams coming from oats with an average of about 30 grams of oats per day, that yields a net addition of 17 milligrams of trigonelline per day. So did 17 milligrams of trigonelline per day impact NAD, blood intracellular NAD levels? So to test that on January 15th, I sent blood to Ginfinity for NAD analysis. And if you wanna measure your own NAD levels, there's a discount link in the video's description. For this test, it was 25.6 micromolar, which unfortunately 17 milligrams of trigonelline per day was not enough to increase NAD. And we know that by looking at my NAD test results from January of 2023 through January of 2024, which is shown here. So for the most recent test with 17 milligrams of trigonelline per day, an average addition for 27 days before the test, we can see that 25.6 micromolar value, which is exactly the same as the first test that I ever took measuring NAD levels with no NAD precursors. In other words, this is essentially my baseline, or pretty close to my baseline. And we know that because for four other tests without NAD precursors, NAD levels have never been higher than 26 micromolar. But for a bunch of tests with, with NAD pre precursors, we can see that blood intracellular NAD levels were greater than 26 micromolar for each of those tests, with only one exception. 300 milligrams of NMN per day didn't make a dent on NAD levels, it, essentially the same as my baseline, 25.3 micromolar versus 25.6. So with that in mind, is the trigonelline NAD experiment over? It didn't move the needle. It didn't get it past 26 micromolar. So why even bother? Well, it's possible that the, the intake, 20, uh, 17 milligrams of trigonelline per day, may not be enough. And with that in mind, fenugreek seeds, as shown here, have more trigonelline than chickpeas. So how much trigonelline do fenu fenugreek seeds have? In one study, 91.2 milligrams per gram. In a second study, 98.4 milligrams per gram. And note that these two studies, uh, the trigonelline content in fenugreek seeds is 260 to 280 times more that's found in chickpeas. But in a third study, trigonelline levels in fenugreek seeds were only 0.262%, which is 2.6 milligrams per gram. Nonetheless, that's still seven times higher than in chickpeas. So to test whether adding more trigonelline into the diet Getting, with the goal of getting 60 milligrams of trigonelline per day. So why that amount? That's because 60 milligrams of nicotinic acid, and remember, trigonelline is converted directly into nicotinic acid. 60 milligrams of nicotinic acid increased my blood intracellular NAD levels to 37.9 micromolar. So for a test that I sent for analysis, actually today, I drew blood on Friday, I averaged about 24 uh, grams of fenugreek seeds per day using the lowest content of trigonelline in fenugreek seeds, 2.6 milligrams per gram, I should have achieved at least 60 milligrams of trigonelline per day with potentially higher. It may be potentially higher based on the studies that showed 90 to 100 milligrams of trigonelline per day. So with that in mind, did it raise NAD? NAD levels, stay tuned for that data coming in a video in a few weeks. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links and merch that you may be interested in, including discount links for NAD quantification, epigenetic testing, or microbiome composition, at-home metabolomics, at-home blood testing with Cyfox Health, which includes ApoB, green tea, diet tracking with chronometer, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, Buy Me A Coffee. We've also got merch, so if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Diet Trying brand, as I've got on here, 
That link and all of the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.